question about landing page integrations. Um, which of the landing page softwares do you integrate with? So um, we have an integration with Unbounce. Okay. Um, I'd have to look at the other ones, but pretty much if they've got a, a web form, we can track it. And then you can just add our tracking code to the landing page and it tracks the phone number. So you've got your phone number and your forms uh, tracked very easily. The, okay. um, the only thing that we um, have with Unbounce that's added is we send back conversions into their reporting. Got so it. all the others, we can receive all the data from any of those landing pages very easily, as long as you can add a tracking code to their the page. Got it. And then yeah. uh, with CallRail, for every client, we get a pool of numbers. We get a pool of typically four, at least, for mm -hmm. for the main campaign, and then an additional one for the uh, the uh, the call extension number. How does it how does it work with you guys? And we're, we're using yeah. CallRail as of right now. Like, how, how do you guys handle that side of it? Yeah, very similar. We have dynamic number pools. Um, we don't require a minimum you can start with two if it's a really low traffic site um yeah. we, we recommend four just for uh, so you don't have misattribution but if it is really low traffic you can start with two uh, yeah. numbers um but yeah it's all manageable it's uh it's, i don't know mark it's a pretty good we think the interface is pretty good i'm a software guy i love the interface i used to develop software i still remember software i used 10 years ago that had a great interface. That's how weird I am. Like <laughs> Dustin would probably appreciate this level of nerdiness. Yes. Um, so, and I happened to be in call rail yesterday uh, for a client and I'm like, man, am I thankful I'm not in here every day. Uh, <laughs> it's just got a very elegant interface, very simple. You, you're not sitting there trying to figure out what to do. Very simple to use. Uh, I've liked it from the beginning. My journey was I was a call rail user I had concerns about costs and support, not the software itself. It was it did its job, though I understand you guys have had a little challenge recently. But um, then I went to Phone Wagon. I knew Ryan who owned Phone Wagon, and it was cool. And then of course Ryan sold out to CallRail, and I'm like, I got to do something. This is I'm not doing this. I'm looking up. One of the problems we always had was attributing um, call extensions inside of Google and tracking those accurately. So I'm doing some Googling. I come to a, a page on Google on Google site about Google AdWords tracking those extensions, and they reference what converts. I'm like, what's what converts? I've been doing this forever. What Wait, converts? back up. You're telling me that what converts is in a Google Doc rec recommendation or a example? Yeah. Ooh. That's awesome. Yeah, that, you must you must send me that. Yeah, that's how I found that's it. Good. I was on Google, and it's like you use something like it's. It was kind of like you use something like what converts, and I'm like, what the hell is what converts? I've been doing this forever. I don't know that's what huge. converts. Yeah, yeah. So then I, I mean, looked it up, and I'm like, this is sweet. And the other thing was, you guys answered all my pre-sales questions, and you answer post-sales questions. My experience with, let's say other vendors is I will send in a request 24 hours. They will send back a wrong canned answer to me. So then I can send in another request. You guys just like, Oh, let's take a look. Boom, boom, boom. Here's the answer. Okay, yep. cool. Yeah. The funny story with the support is my co-founder, Jeremy, he's the technical and the developer side. So he's had to deal with support and he, one of his, hates like he's like really passionate in his hates about technical support <laughs> and, and we're on another golf course when we we're talking about this and he says to me michael what converse has to have the best support and i'm like yeah okay we'll have good support he said, no you, you don't understand he says we are going to offer tech technically competent support within 15 minutes and um to this day he jumps into support and if the support team aren't answering if there's a ticket that's sitting there for longer than like 30 minutes, they get, a, you know, they get reamed out. And, um, you know, so support is super important to us. And it's become, we sort of see it as a, a feature of the software, you know, that, and, and it comes from Jeremy's hatred for bad support. 